Chevy. Boy, I swear, I, I almost thought I heard uh, uh, the end of my uh, my my uh, audio on my local receiver. <laughs> and I don't know exactly how that is. You expect, you know, there's a, there's a latency situation with the internet SDR receivers. Sometimes it can be as quick as uh, a second or two seconds. Sometimes it can get out to like 15 seconds. And that's really interesting. When it gets out that far, you can almost hear your, your total transmission from beginning to end coming back at you before uh, you know, you get a you get a response. But the interesting part was that just then I thought I heard my local receiver coming back, and I was trying to figure out how how that would happen. Anyway, this is KC9 VKV. If you got a radio, you want to check out the audio, give us a shout. Kilo Echo Zero Delta Golf Bravo. Station Kilo Echo Zero. Come back with a call sign again. Echo Zero Delta Golf Bravo. Roger, sir. And what's the name? Jim. Jim, how are you doing today? I'm doing fine, sir. Welcome aboard. Yeah, it was a little rainy out here today. I had to go out and work in the rain, but uh, I ended up getting an amplifier. All right, again. You can hear me a little bit better. Well, now, you're, you're, what's your location? Missouri, southwest Missouri. All right, uh, tell, me, uh, uh, tell me something for about 10 seconds, and let me check the SDRs, Roger. All right. 10 seconds, and let me check, Roger. Yeah, it's better. Yeah. And, uh, I suppose it'll drop down a little bit next week, but, uh, like I said, I can see spring coming on its way. Oh, Roger, yes. Uh, let's all celebrate spring. And I'm sure we've got a lot of antenna work uh, that we need to do there come come spring, Roger. Yep. There's always projects to do outside. Mowing the grass, too. Well, that's a Roger. Now, I had an antenna project... Um, about a week ago, I've got a, a, a vertical loop antenna for 10 meters. It's a PVC frame, uh, uh, 36 feet around, and I run a, um, a, a full wave uh, uh, loop uh, tie tack to that to PVC frame for uh, 10 meters. And I, was, I tried an experiment. I wanted to uh, give me a 40 meter option. So I, I built uh, onto that uh, PVC frame um, what's called a web antenna. Now the web is, uh, well, you just imagine this, uh, your antenna lead going around and around and around and into smaller uh, areas and, you know, and, and to when you finish it looks like a it looks like a spider web and you have uh, successfully uh, looped uh, a full wave uh, amount of wire for 40 meters uh, for a full wave uh, a loop antenna and I must admit that it didn't work I find myself building in two two phases anymore uh, the first phase is building it and the second phase is figuring out why it didn't work Yep, yep. <laughs> How'd you keep those wires uh, separated as the loop got smaller, Jim? Well, you put, uh, you know, what I know and initially had was a, just a bare bones uh, rectangular PVC frame. And so then when I knew I was going to try to build a web, I knew I would need some additional support. So I did put a uh, an X uh, PVC X over that uh, uh, that basic frame, and then one uh, across the middle. So I added uh, three separate uh, new pieces of PVC f uh, to do the uh, to do the web on. Roger. Uh, all right. I was hey kept the wire off. I didn't help. Well, now I the the idea was that I would use the first 36 feet of the 10-meter loop, 
uh, the full wave, the 10 meter loop, which is 36 feet around. I would use that as the first loop on my web, and I added, um, you know, <clears throat> I think it was supposed to be like 100 and 140 feet uh, for a full wave uh, uh, antenna uh, for uh, 40. So I used, uh, I was going to use the first 36 feet of the uh, 10 meter loop and then add uh, 110 feet of additional wire uh, looped around and so I would wind up with uh, 140 feet which should have been a full wave uh, a loop uh, for uh, 40 but I ran into some kind of uh, difficulty there and my first loop didn't want to didn't like to get incorporated uh, into my second loop uh, so uh, I wound up short on my 40 meter. I even went to the point of trying to load out the uh, difference uh, around uh, one of the PVC f frames. It was just wrapping a coil around that frame to make up the, for the difference that I didn't have on the uh, that 36-foot uh, uh, 10 meter loop. But uh, you know, I got I got tired after about three or four hours, Roger. I understand. Well, how did it work on 10 meter? Oh, listen, uh, uh, from what I understood, the best I was possibly going to get was a 1.5 uh, on uh, 10 meters uh, on that loop without a bunch of other uh, stuff. And I'll have you know through hook or crook, I wound up with a 1.2, Roger. Hey, hell, it sounds like it worked pretty good for a 10 meter loop. Sounds like you need some more work on a 40 meter loop though, Jim. Well, yeah, I, it's a 40-meter loop in in progress. Um, that 10-meter uh, loop, I actually tested it out, and I had forward gain on a uh, vertical loop antenna, which is uh, not supposed to do that because, you know, you have this vertical loop, and it's supposed to radiate off the back side as well as it does off the front off the front side so you don't have really a front and a back you just have a, a yes uh, you know same on either side but this loop and I'm not sure if it's because of the web wiring or not but I'm actually catching about uh, a 4 dB increase on one side versus the other side uh, it's amazing, but I, I am actually doing that. And, you know, obviously a loop antenna is absolutely dead off the ends. I mean, it is, you can know uh, a 40 dB over signal with a vertical loop antenna off the ends. So this thing, as it turns around, when I'm looking at the signal, uh, I've got, uh, I'm actually getting about uh, 4 dB hotter than a 5 h vertical. I uh, can compare AB comparison. So I'm getting about uh, 4 dB hotter than a, a standard on 5H vertical. And then as it starts to turn around, it uh, hits that uh, 90 degree null. And for all practical purposes, it is uh, gone. Everything that I was copying is gone. And then as it starts coming around, it comes back to uh, uh, 180 degrees from where it was. But the signal is now uh, 4 dB uh, lower than what it was uh, facing the other way. <laughs> That's strange. It's interesting what you can do with antennas. Is all you can say, Jeff. Roger, well, I would have never have suspected that I could have gotten directionality out of a vertical loop antenna. Because, uh, you know, there's no reason for it. To, uh, um, you know, logically, you would think it would be uh, bi-directional. It's hot off the one end as the other end. But this antenna does show a 4 dB uh, uh, hype on the, you know, on one side versus the other. So, obviously, I named that the front. <laughs> Roger. Yep, that's what I would have done, too. I mean, I, you know, I knew it wasn't a side, and it did have directionality, so it had to be the front. Anyway, uh, what's going on over there? Well, how's your radio r running and everything? Roger, roger. Now, how much uh, power are you running?
Roger. Well, you know, we do have uh, very bad conditions right now. I'm only copying you about uh, 3 dB uh, above my noise level, and I'm sure... Let me go down to 100 watts. Uh, I'm down to 100 watts. Uh, can you copy me at 100 watts? Damn, your signal comes up and then goes down. We've got a solid part of it, too. Jim, I just went down to 100 watts. Can you copy me at 100 watts? Yeah, I can copy you, Jim. All right. Well, I went back to KW now. You can probably copy me a little bit better. Yep, a little bit better. Quite a little bit. Yeah, I think Mother Nature's uh, coming back here. Well, anyway, Jim, uh, threes to you, sir. Sounding good. Thanks for checking in, Roger. All right, Jim. Good hearing you. Thanks for doing what you do. 73. Zero. Roger, Roger, Jim. And I, I'm sure you're going to enjoy that uh, that amp. I'm sure you're going to enjoy the amp. And if you want to hear what it sounds like, uh, uh, go to YouTube uh, in the next couple of days and do the call letter search for Kilo Charlie 9 Victor Kilo Victor. And then uh, that'll take you to the QSO Vlog page. And on that page, uh, you'll be looking for uh, QSO Vlog entitled My Group Air Check 32919. My Group Air Check 329. 19. This is KC9 VKV in the QSO Vlog network, and we are rapidly turning into a pumpkin. I think we have room for one more. Anybody want to check out their audio? Give me a call.